quickly go to second time around and there it is level done I'll do second time around and then I'll do the uh, bonus material No, 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 take time around first. Keep this up, and I'll have the store open again in no time. Wait, what? Oh! Okay. You gotta beat the other Battle Nexus uh, stages to get it. To get them. So I'll show you them later, later then, once I finish the Battle Nexus, if I can. They made it so fucking hard. Okay, now we need the bonus material. New characters. Oh no, are you serious? You gotta beat the Battle Nexus to get these other ones. Shit. Okay, I'll do these and then, yeah, do the, yeah, get them all later. Pretty cool music they added in. <laughs> Happy, sad, angry, laugh, determined, and puzzled. Leonardo's expressions. Wait, oh yeah, Leonardo's is all done. Oh, that's Leonardo A. And we'll do Leonardo B. I don't know why they can't just have like both in one part. Like, there's only 10 in each. Suppose they wanted to fill the screen. Oh, this is when they get into the teleporter thing to go to space. Things I added into here. Oh yeah, and also got the playmates. Ooh, this might be a concept art for their Battle Nexus outfit for Leonardo. So maybe that's what they were thinking of um, doing it. Now Slasher. Whoa! Okay, the different colors of Slasher later on. Earlier on. Ooh! Oh my God! That is awesome. That one. Oh my God! And that's it for Slasher. Now Raphael A. You gotta go back to this part every time. Fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, that's um for a, a. That outfit's from an episode in season two called The Golden Puck. It was pretty much a filler episode, it doesn't really count towards the story of the cartoon. Oh, these are the wanted posters when they were at sp in space. They, the Federation made them wanted criminals. Oh, and there's Raphael's um, Nexus outfit, early concept. Now, Casey! Is it all these images have that really weird pinky? The deformed pinky for KC. 
scene. Oh, there's Casey as a kid. On that flashback, when his um, father's sword was torched. That's uh, the outfit he wore, because he used to be a mechanic. Worked, he got a job as a mechanic at the amusement park in the episode with, with the return of Nano. That's when he was attacked in Nano. Red and hockey, hockey stick, his mask, and his motorbike, which you don't you, you don't really see, you don't see in the cartoon anymore after Nick Casey. No, after um, it, it, final episode, the episode I remember him when he last had it was in uh, uh, Strata Strikes Back in the cartoon. Since then, I've never, I don't remember seeing it. Yo, Michelangelo A. Ah, uh, yep, same outfit as, yeah, the Golden Puck episode. Oh, this one, um, this is the outfits they wore in, uh, Monster Hunter, I think it was. Kind of another filler episode. And it says Big, big Brawl Part 2. Oh, oh, it's Seaweed. Okay, yep. Oh, I was thinking of a different a different one because the, they were, they're wearing fur. This one's Seaweed. So that, that, that one's correct. The Ultimate Ninja. I don't remember him wearing this outfit in the Ultimate Ninja episode. Uh, that's the one I was talking about in the Monster Hunter episode. It. Now I'll do Michelangelo B. What the hell outfit is that? Turtles in Space Part 2. Trouble with Triceratons. Does he even wear that? Maybe they wore, he wore it as a disguise. So I don't know why Casey's there randomly. Might be in local women's disguise. <laughs> Oh, that's the Triceraton outfit they wore. Rogue in the house. That's a pretty cool episode, that one. What a croc. That's, that's the episode they meet Leatherface for the first time. Early concept for Leonardo, uh, Michelangelo's, um, Battle Nexus outfit. Oh, Justice Force, um, uh, comic. This is like the Ninja Turtles version of, um, the Justice League. It's got Silver Sentry, and that's the only one I remember. I, I'm still re-watching the series, so I still don't remember all the Justice Force characters. Yeah, Karai. The outfit she wears when we play her. That's her normal outfit, which we never see her wear when we play her. And there's the shred, the shred outfit she wore. Oh, that's Karai as a kid. And the flashback that Karai did. And it's her a bit older. It's her as an adult. That is awesome, that picture. Oh yeah, because that, she never had the um, voice, the Shred, she can't speak the in Shredder's voice, so she had like a, that voice altering device in her helmet. Because um, she, she was trying to trick, the turtles were helping her trick the Foot Ninja. Now Donatello, uh, A. Donatello B. These are the uh, these are just the allies of the turtles that are under characters. There's a secret. There's this another section for the enemies. Who's that? Uh, 
Crash on Cleantus. Oh, okay. That's the sequel to the Junkman episode. He returns. Oh, Donnie's early concept art, Battle Nexus outfit. His expressions. Some random devices. Oh, these must this must be early um early concept art for Donnie's um thing that he has on his hand. On his like arm for the those little balls that he uses to shoot instead of um shurikens. Yeah, um, I forgot his name, Usagi someone, get, get the, he's like a rabbit. Pretty sure you get unlock him after you beat, um, Battle Nexus. I think the same for Splinter. Ah, uh, that's how fish she wore when she walked back to, back to Stockman. That's one, that's what she wore on one of the episodes when the turtles stayed at her house. Um, I think that's when the one she wore when she had to live in the sewers with the turtles because her apartment got burnt, her store got burnt down. Same with that one. Oh yeah, Modern Love, The Return of Nano. Oh, that's the one she wore when she had to stay in the turtles lair. I don't remember where that one's from though. Search for Splinter Part 1. Why do I don't remember that outfit? Oh, this is the one! Rapers Artifact. They go in like this weird world. Because um, they found one of her uncle's artifacts in the store. And they got teleported to another world. Yeah, yeah. She wore. Yeah, she completely destroyed her top and pants. Because it was too hot over there. You know, it's like a tropical island. That's it. That's what she wore when she helped uh, Casey at the amusement park. And that's the reporter outfit. That's the outfit she wore to get into the TCRI building. What the hell was that? April's artifact. That is fucking scary. Uh, oh, April's is done. Yeah, characters all finished. Now, enemies. Oh, Drago, that's definitely, yeah, I'm definitely unlock him in Battle Nexus. Ooh, is this, it, it's Utrom. No, who is this color for inside the tank? It's pretty cool that they did this. Oh, that's the Shredder in the past. His armor in the past. That's, uh... Shredder's, um... Oh, I forgot what the Utron, what the Utron's call their, their skins. That's him in the tank, and those wounds are healing him. That's the modern day armor. Broken armor. Yeah. Oh, that's the outfit he wore in Slash's, um, backstory. His flashback. That's Shredder done. Why'd they put Leatherhead under enemies? You versed him in that one episode, but one level, but he's he's an ally for the turtles. And so same with Traximus. Yeah, same as the um as the what's his what's I forgot his name, but he's the Father to um the ultimate ninja. Oh, there's the rat and the turtle sensei, and that is that's is it for the for this one. Only two. What even was, what was that one called? Oh, ninja rats. Now Traximus. Huh? He only has two as well. Oh, that must be a flashback one. When he used to be part of the Triceratons. Leatherhead. Oh, I think that's him during the flashback. And that's him in his 
lab coat, and his glasses. These ones only have two concept arts, that's pretty dumb. Surely they had more than that. Now the elite guards. These ones only have two as well. They could have at least shown like the different the different ones. Hold on. Oh, the ones we versed had them both in he had, he had it in both hands. Oh okay, there, there's actually five elite foot elite guards. Okay, I don't know why we didn't verse that other goal, other one. Why you only verse four in both games. Uh, the space Mozar. Uh, spa it's, spa it's Spasmosaur, I mean. Uh, Turtles in Space Part 3, The Big House. Yeah, Turtles in Space is like a five part bloody series. Like, when the, the actual DVDs came out, they only put on like four episodes on um, each disc. So, like, you have to get, uh, whatever they want. You gotta have to get two, two, um, discs, the two different sets to be able to get all the turtles in space. For reference only. Oh, it's a bit, this one's a bit different than the final version. Hun. Maybe we get his concept art for when he was a teenager when he torched Casey's dad's store. And yep, we do. <laughs> I know. I know he doesn't look the younger, but he actually is. He's um a teenager when he did when he when he's in um Casey's flashback. I know he still looks like as old as he is now, but yeah, still a teenager, the ultimate ninja. And only two! Yeah, that's what he looks like without his mask. You never even saw it in the, um, in this game. Saw him without his mask on. Yeah, secondary characters. Uh, it seems to be Foot Tech Ninja, the Purple Dragons, and the Mobsters. Or the Mafia. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, and the Utroms! Oh, Exoskeletons! That's what they're called, or Exosuits. That's what the League Trumps called their suits. Who are these? Oh, these must be uh, some Federation soldiers. Yeah. The numbers are covering it, but it's the Federation soldiers. Oh, these are cool. Oh, no, these are the um, footage in the past. Oh, the big dude. These ones only appeared like once in the cartoon when they were tortured in April's, uh, store. That's the only time I remember seeing them. Rogue in the House Part 1. Oh, it's a bit different. It's a foot mech. Yeah, they're a bit different to the one we, um, versed in the first game. Lobster. Foot Ninja. Foot Tech. Triceraton. Neutron. That's it. That's it for secondary characters. Yes. Oh, another another one for secondary characters. Oh, what the fuck, Cyclo Cyclopus, Cyclopus, Cyclopus. That's what it's called. We never actually saw that in the game. It must be a removed enemy. Same with those two. Whatever. I don't. What is, what is that? I don't know what that is. Neither is needed for that. Oh, those stupid crocodile mouses. Red Dorian. Oh, that's what those spider things are called. I mean, men on planet zero. Foot sumo ninja. Okay, that's what they're called. Those fat things. I knew that was sumo something. This must be an earlier concept art for the Foot Sumo Ninja. That's all the secondary characters done. Now others, which is 
Oh, Dolmio. I think that's his name. The Dolmio. That's his, the ultimate ninja's dad. And that weird uh, thing they met in the sewers on Dehunib and uh, Baxter Stockman. Oh, that's him with just his brain and a little and his eye. Shredder could probably destroy his body. Uh, that's him as a spider when Shredder found him after return to New York. Yeah, that's the last time um, Baxter actually had a proper body. The future Toid. Uh, General Blank. Giant sweeping machine, oh that's what it's called. And Planet Dehunib sewers, there's Planet Dehunib sewers. That's the uh, Mortu. Uh, the Dolmio. I think that's his name. The numbers are covering his name, so I, I don't know if that's right. Oh, the Sword of Tengu, which for some reason in the games they call the Goblin Sword, the Goblin Blade. Oh, it's dumb. Oh, and there's leader Zangramon. The lead of the Triceratons. That's it. Is that it for enemies? Yes, it is. Hey, the uh, um, background art. New York. Oh, yeah, we unlocked all of them. Awesome. This is New York's one. Only five. I think one of them has a lot of concept art for. I think it would be. Uh, Feudal Japan, maybe? Oh, no, I, I remember one of them that has a shit ton of concept art. Planet of Hunib. This one only has five. Feudal Japan. Whoa, well, that village got totally fucked. The Kodiyama Freighter. Now Battle Nexus. Oh, there's the past. The, this is the past champions. You see, there is Master Splinter and Hamato Yoshi. That is all. That is awesome. They added that in. Could have did a, like a better view of their statues, vehicles. Federation hover tank. Oh shit! This one's ten. Oh, General Blanks, the uh, Federation Hover Car. General Blanks Flagship, General Blanks Space Cruiser, the Turtle Roller, whatever it is, Thriller, another Cruddy Armor Freighter, uh, Foot Chopper, just taking a guess for these. Uh, the flying skateboard that Donnie made, um, Mikey. There's a Triceraton, uh, space, uh, mothership. Uh, some harness. And that's it. Now, uh, animation storyboards. Are they actually animated? Damn, would have been cool if they were animated. Pause them if you want a better look. Look, I, I, I can't have this part going too long. Sorry you can't really read this, but going the quality of the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. I think it's others that has a shit ton of concept art for you know, the CGs of the characters. Oh, cool! Must 
Crispy from Planet Zero. Hmm. Oh, Fox Box. Yep, four elite guards, which are then missing the fifth. Fifth dude. Uh, Casey and um, Raph about to get hit by that truck that the Ultimate Ninja was on. Holy shit, that's a lot of Foot Ninja. Oh, there's Drago. Ha! That foot, foot Sumo Ninja and Hun. Looks like they're hugging there. Uh, Slasher and the Turtles in New York's future. Final battle. No, just others. Yeah, there's playmates. This is the extra one that you unlock. You can only unlock with the code. This is all the playmates toys for season two. Huh? I don't remember this toy. Maybe it's one that never came out. Air Ninja Foot Soldier Two. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. Maybe the yeah toy. I think they did concept four, but they never made it. I'm not even sure if Playmates is still in business. I haven't heard of any more toys coming out. Or maybe they just lost a license to TMNT toys. Maybe Nickelodeon. Making toys is now as well. Because they're pretty they're doing the comics and the cartoons for it now. Oh, some more toys. Oh, these must be the actual toys. The other one was just the concept art. Oh, Donatello Nexus. Nexus Turtles 1, Michelangelo. Oh, so they copy the Nexus outfits from the toys and put them onto the game for the turtles. That's cool. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, there's Donatello again. Leonardo again? Oh, different weapons, okay. And that's it. Oh, that was just the concept for Donatello's Nexus outfit. Some more Playmate stuff. Who the fuck is that? I don't remember him. He was probably just the random contestant on the Battle Nexus. Same with him, Dark Assassin. I don't remember him. Oh no, actually I do, I do, yeah. He was at Battle... He, the Assassins were at the Battle Nexus. I won't ruin it if you haven't seen that, um, the Battle Nexus saga. There's Draco. Draco, whatever you want to call him. Feudal Shredder. I think it would have been an awesome toy. Oh, General Blank. Did they make a toy for him? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, Gen. He was another contestant at the Battle Nexus. He always eats, uh, he always ate, like, uh, rice or whatever it is. I can't remember what he ate, but he always used to eat something. Oh, there's Tomato Yoshi. Traximus. Oh, yeah, Traximus. Um, was a contestant at the Battle Nexus as well. Ultimate Damio. Damio. What a, I, can't, what a, I can't remember how to pronounce his, his name. Damio, probably. Ultimate Ninja. And that's it. Was his name really Butterfly Swords? That is, oh my god. Got another Playmates thing. Oh, that is cool. I don't even know what that's called. Oh, turtle tops. Oh, this is like the Beyblade stuff. That's cool. Robo Hunter Leonardo. That is, that is an awesome outfit. I have no idea what that says. Robo Fighting Tur- Oh, Robo Fighting Turtles, Michelangelo, yeah, that's what they're called. Robo Fighting Turtles. 
Oh, Shredder. T-Tops, Foot Soldier. T-Tops, Michelangelo. T-Tops, Splinter. T-Tops, Raphael. And that's it. That's all the Playmate stuff done. Now, others. They're the gallery now. That is an awesome... That would, that would have been an awesome poster to have. I would have loved that as a poster. Same with that one. People really should have, should make these into posters. That would have been, they would be awesome. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I'd rather have that one as a poster. Oh, that's like the, um, Turtles A. This is like the, um, box art that the European region got for the, the TMNT1 game on PS2, the GameCube and Xbox. Because they changed the artwork for our box for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, that's just fucking awesome. Yeah, it's all done. Is that it? I swear there was something else you could do in there. Hmm. I'll click back into it and see. If not, I'll end the park. If there's nothing else, I'll end the park. Because this is probably going to be a long one. Yup, it is. That's it. Um. I swear there was something else. Maybe it's the third game I'm thinking of. Okay, guys. Send it this part. And I'll see you when we do the Battle Nexus. See ya. Guys, welcome to the final ever part of TMNT 2 Battle Nexus. Uh, yeah, the previous video ended there as well because I just thought I'd send it up. I really need to get my lab in order. Because, yeah, the bonus materials is going to be the final part. So, um, yeah, like, I cut the previous part off. And, um, but the, yeah, I explained it in the previous part about the bonus material part for the ship. So, yeah, so I'll play that first, and then this part will just be the stuff I unlocked from Battle Nexus. Uh, now Splinter! I can't remember where that's from, maybe the one of the battles is Shred- yeah, I think the final battle was Shredder. The final ever battle in the 2003 series that they had was Shredder. Oh, from Stockman's Claw. Huh. Maybe- Oh, I think it's from, um, Return to New York and back to Stockman became that huge, uh, robot thing. You saw him in the, um, first game when he turned into that huge robot. Soaked in Junk Lantis. It doesn't say what episode it's from there. Yeah. But it'd be definitely from Return to New York Part 3, I think it is. Uh, this one is The Big Brawl Part 1. Huh. The Big Brawl, The Big Brawl Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, that, the Battle Nexus. I can't remember how Splinter hurt his foot in that in that part. I, I can't remember. Uh, Splinter naked? Ah, oh, the Splinter when he was a normal rat. That's the cage he was held in. Oh, we put it. He wasn't held in there. But yeah. And Whoa. Okay. Splinter in Shredder's armor. Why is that a thing? Okay. What is that? Oh my god, from Reflections. Reflections is an episode from the show. And Splinter never made that face in that episode, so I have no idea what that is supposed to mean. Uh, Splinter, when he was um, in the pod thing at the um, TCRI building, it's actually Splinter Part 2. And uh, this picture of Hamato Yoshi. And 
that's it for Splinter's um, bonus material. Now, last one for the good guys, Miyamoto Usagi, which is the rabbit dude we fought at the Battle Nexus. Was he that small? Huh, okay. Oh, he only has two. And that's it. He was very underused in this game. And Draco, or Draco, it's Dra I think it's Draco. And he's only got two concept art as well. The beast he is, fucking hell. Okay, that is it for all of the bonus material in the whole game. So the game is 100% finished. So... What I'm going to do is, oh, get the codes work, oh, go on that side, get the codes for the first team in T-Game, and try to beat challenge mode. I'll just redo the challenge mode uh, video. Get the code work, so, yeah. It'll just make it easier, just so I don't have to merge files together. It is great to be home. So, yeah, I'll... Um, here and end the part. Alright, this is the end. Hope to see you in TMT 3. See ya.